Thank you. Um, my name is Regina. I'm uh, one of the voices of God in the nation of Kenya. It's a prophet in the office by the grace of God. And I would want to clarify or to clear the air in this country. Now, um, being a mother in the Lord, and for the few years that I've been a citizen of this country, I want the church to know that it's a new day it is a new day and it is not business as usual actually you know there has been a lot of confusion you know coming from the church when it comes to politics and we confuse the atmosphere of the nation before we have done we have done that before Having, having even some of our clergy and some of our people rising up and saying, you know, God has said this, I'm going to be this. And we have even have representation from, from the church in political arenas, but when our people went there, they never stood for the truth, they never stood for righteousness. And so there has been a lot of confusion. I don't want to speak much, but I want to correct some things and I want to affirm some things that uh, this time around, uh, uh, it is the will of God. President Kenyatta and his deputy uh, occupying the presidency of the nation of Kenya from, 20, uh, from 2007, it, is, it, is, it was the will of God. It was the will of God. And the reason why church, God did that, is because the church of the nation of Kenya has not been ready we are so divided we don't speak one language when uh we have representation before authorities in the land people the people who seem to be representing us they just think about their bellies they, they don't think about the generation of, of their children and the generation of, of, of the church in the nation of kenya so we we have had a lot of confusion even before the authorities in the land I'm not talking, I'm not saying that everybody who God took before the authorities, they compromise, but that has been the order, that has been, the, you know, the, the deal, somebody just thinking, what will uh, the president give me, what will I get from the government, uh, and uh, so somebody can sign any document to compromise the standard of the church, and they have their way, because it's by, uh, just about me. But let me tell you the truth, uh, 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 now, let me tell you the truth, when, uh, when a time came, for 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 the leadership to shift hard from the from the hands of Saul, who was ordained by God to be uh, to be king of over Israel for some time. Uh, now David was not even aware. Jesse, the father, and the brothers were not even aware. But God had it over in the spiritual realm. God had already spotted, you know, God had already spotted David, and he's the one who had it over the mantle. Saul did not even lay hands to David. He did not even mentor him. It is. God God who had it over the mantle of kingship to, to David by himself, by his own making. When when the season came for, for transition in in, a, in, a, in a, you know in the in the prophetic office in Israel, it is God who had it over the mantle from Eli to Samuel. That is God for you. It is God who had it over. Though he informed Elijah, he had already uh, uh, transferred the mantle and uh, he, he sent Elijah to go and anoint Elisha to take his praise. Hallelujah. So now, uh, God is a God of times, he's a God of season. he, he seasons, he, he orders them. And I want the nation of Kenya to know the president, the fourth president of the nation of Kenya will not sit down, will not, will not leave the office before he has prophetically positioned the nation of Kenya. Number four means universal worldwide. Before he has uh, prophetically positioned the nation of Kenya in the world, that is the assignment that is left for our current president right now. He will properly position the nation of Kenya uh, in the nations of the world. He will do some prophetic and divine connections that are going to prophetically position the nation of Kenya into a prophetic position in the world. That is it. 
So the church should be knowing where are we and what is God doing and that is it. And I want the church to know if you're not faithful with another person's thing, if you're not faithful with somebody else's thing or deal, God will never trust you with your own. So I, 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 I'm requesting even the church set up, let us be faithful where God has called you to serve. Be faithful. If God has given you a position of, of authority, be faithful. We do not see uh, Joseph, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, even, uh, you know, uh, the Potiphar, the Bible says, he trusted Joseph with everything. You know, he entrusted that young man with everything, apart from the wife and even when the time came my god uh, uh, joseph knew i cannot overthrow my master there is a, there is a level i cannot get to and i'm requesting the church and the ministers of the gospel in my country kenya kaidri can we sober up can we sober up now i'm going to say tough things as a woman of god in the nation by the grace of god because me i'm speaking for god uh, because we must clear this confusion um, I, I'm, I'm talking to the clergy in the nation we must do the things we are doing minding about the destinies of our children my god our children in the lord our children our physical children god is a generational god i'm asking you man and woman of god now people are running up and down the church is caught up in politics my god can we the lord has spoken to me this morning and he's requesting the church begin well begin from a place of inquiring begin from a place of asking god who has your heart and the spirit of god was telling me yesterday it is not about the ideas they are throwing to us and whatever good things they are trying to tell us it is about somebody who has the heart of god why president uhur kenyatta took the position of leadership in the nation of kenya is because the church in kenya was not prepared the church of the nation of kenya was not prepared and as i spoke to you as last time i told us uh, for some days god god has released the grace of fatherhood to to, to, the, to to the to the women in the nation of kenya and i said we are going to see the rising up of mighty women of valor my god we are going to see the deborahs of our time we are going to see the esters of our time we are going to see my god because we we cannot judge we, we cannot be running up and down eating the peanuts from the politicians and supporting them and voting them in and then we when, when they enter there they, they have no counsel of god we cannot even counsel them because we already compromised we cannot even uh, you know guide the, the, the leadership of the nation of kenya because we have spoke scooped too low my god some of us when uh, when, when they are going to drink in some of these vip places they find us there and yet we have titles covered up in the church when they go to uh, hotel rooms and fornication we are all over Hallelujah, my God of all is so pathetic. When some of them are going to consult occultism, they find that they are seated there in those big uh, uh, sittings of occultism looking for demonic powers. They know all these things. There's nothing we can hide. Hallelujah. So God has already handed over the mantle of this leadership to the true church in the nation of Kenya. And as we said before, the true church in this country, whether we are 20 or a thousand or a million, and we are going to determine, we are controlling the affairs of men. The Bible says we are seated with the Christ in heavenly places it is time for the for the nation of Kenya to get to her prophetic destiny my brethren it is a new day it is a new season so it is time for the nation of Kenya to enter her prophetic destiny and I want to let the people know before December this year we shall see God going ahead of us making every crooked path straight hallelujah we are going to see by 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 by, by March 2022 if Jesus starts we are going to see God has really cleared the air for the nation of Kenya for her prophetic destiny not only here but in the nations of the world in the name of Jesus hallelujah I know God spoke to me and told me Nairobi is going to be an international hub. It is going to be an international tourist hub. And God is going to help President Uhuru Kenyatta before he leaves the office to do all those things, to prepare the ground for that because God does not speak a lie. Kenya is a father nation in Africa. So the father nation in the continent of Africa is going to be aligned by God prophetically to her position. And it is now. It is God at work. Hallelujah. So I, I'm speaking to the church. It's not about the issue noise it's not about who is setting the agenda of what it is about the heart condition god is dealing with the heart condition and i'm i'm telling you the truth some of you god was speaking to me this morning and he was 
saying, I'm going to ashamed that part of the church that is so compromised, that does not seek my face to know the heart of men. They just support because somebody is saying, Bona si fiwe, or somebody is coming to church, or somebody is saying, I'm a Christian. We just support them brightly. This time around, go for the sake of the generation of this nation, for the sake of the agenda of God and the purposes of God in the destiny of the nation of Kenya. God is going to clear the way, and I want the church to know it is the heart of God that is already outstretched, and nobody can turn it back. It is the counsel of God that will prevail. Hallelujah. Not the counsel of any man. I told you sometimes back, there are three families that, that their season of leadership in the nation of Kenya is over. It is God that will work. And whether they try to do or they, they try to push their way, it will not happen. God will silence. God will clear. They will never rise to any position of power in the nation because that time is up. I don't have to mention them. Their time is up. So it does not matter who is being pushed, but God will not give our nation to a leader who is an occultism. God will not, who is in in occultism, sorry. God will not do that. God will not hand over this nation, whether the person is being supposed to support it from wherever. God will not do that. The Spirit of God was speaking to me this morning and he was saying there are people who want to guard, you know, their territories and to, go, to guard their interests. Now, it is not about the interest of any personality of any, or any family in the nation of Kenya. It's about the will and the purposes of God for the prophetic destiny of the nation of Kenya. Hallelujah. So we must know where we are and we must know what the Lord is saying and we must know what God is doing and we must align ourselves to the purposes of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The other thing I want the church to know, it was very clear yesterday night in my spirit. Let me clear this air so that we may not have confusion. It is time for God. We are going to see men and women of God, people and who are speaking tongues, people who are Holy Ghost, my father, uh, Holy Ghost led, people who are walking the fear of God, the counsel of God, the Daniels of our time, the Nehemiahs of our time, people who know I'm going to the government on assignment. We are going to see the positioning of the Josephs of our time. We are going to see the Esthers, the young girls, my God giving God giving them positions of influence. When they get there, they are not going to sell their bodies. They are not going to compromise their standard. They are going to lead in the position God has given them in the fear of God. We are going to see my Jehovah. I don't know why I've been seeing a deputy president who is a woman in the nation of Kenya. My God, we are going to see governors, women. We are going to see senators. We are going to see women because the grace of God of fatherhood has been transferred to the hands of women. Hallelujah. And in the nation of Kenya, because women are builders, they are builders. They have the capacity to build by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So God will not handle over this nation to a man who is covering up or a woman who is covering up in the church yet they are murderers my god there is a lot of innocent blood there has been uh, very strange deaths in this country for years back my god anybody who has said who has uh, who has uh, shed innocent blood or conspired to kill anybody for to guard their own personal interest to cover up any sin i'm telling you the truth god is the lord has spoken to me this morning he is going to expose those things and god is going to use people to confess things even the people who are used god is going to use them and they are going to have evidences god is going to expose every manner of evil particularly for the people who have killed because there are people who have used their influence in this nation to massively kill, eliminate, and that innocent blood is crying, mentioned in their name, like what happened to Cain and Abel. Hallelujah. Now listen to this. God will not give our nation to any murderer. Any murderer. I know somebody said, but woman of God, somebody can repent. Even if they repent, murderers will not occupy the position of authority in this nation. And I want to say something. Number two, God will not give the, 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 the leadership of the nation of Kenya to somebody whose heart is full of vengeance. If I sit on that, somebody who is confessing the spirit in his heart, you know, God was taking me to somebody's heart in this nation. And God, you know, somebody is saying, if I get this seat, I'm going to do to victimize this community. I'm going to victimize this people they are going to see me he, they, you know that somebody's planning when i get there i'm going to use my influence i am going to to remove this community from these positions i'm going to do this i'm going to do this now anybody who has who has been a murderer god is so much concerned about murderers there are people who have murdered whether we cover it up whether they hide in the church the blood the blood they have shed my God conspiring against, you know, the innocent people in this country. My Jehovah for generation. That, that 
that kind of people, God, uh, God is clearing them from the way by his own means hallelujah people whose hearts are full of vengeance they do not have any my god does not matter whether the ideas are good or not that's why i'm requesting the church that i'm requesting the church let us begin well the lord is speaking to the church this morning on the 30th day of july 2021 and the lord they say my people sit back sit back begin well consult me seek my face know whose heart is after me because that is the leadership God wants to give the, the nation of Kenya. People who are after the heart of God. Because it's time for Joseph to be positioned. It's time for Esther to be positioned. It's time for Deborah to take it up. People who are going to, 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 to cooperate with God. As President Kenyatta prepares the international ground for the nation of Kenya. It's people who are going to take it up. Not to come into the leadership with their own personal, uh, uh, you know, their own personal uh, selfish ambitions. Hallelujah. So it's not about the, some, or the idea somebody is selling. It's about the heart, the condition of the heart. And I'm telling you the truth, believe it or not, me, I'm, I'm speaking for God as a voice of God in the nation. I'm speaking for God. Any murderer will not occupy any position of influence in this country. Any person who has guilt conscious, they have shed innocent blood. Whether they covered it up, whether they used people, my God, even if they paid money and it is covered up, God is now perusing those files. Those chapters are being reversed back by the Lord and God is going to handle that matter. Number two, anybody who has ventures, whether it is a chief or whatever position, they will not have any position of influence in this nation. And as a woman of God in this nation, by the grace of God with much humility, I take charge of my nation. I take charge of my country, I take charge of the atmosphere of this nation, I take charge of the political affairs of the nation of Kenya, and I decree, started by the word of God, in the book of, uh, in the book of uh, uh, Jeremiah, my God, in the book of Jeremiah chapter 1, and, and, and verse 12, I'm starting by that word, that God will follow up his word to perform it in the nation of Kenya. Hallelujah. And it is time. We start by the word of God in the book of, of Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 10. We are putting, tearing down and overthrowing that which is instituted of men with their craftiness, with their, with their pride. We are bringing that down right now. And my God, we are planting your agenda in this country and building your will and your purposes and your counsel in the nation of Kenya in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So anything that is not planted by God, Matthew 15, 13, God is going to uproot that and God is going to plant his agenda and we are corroborating with him because the Bible says in the book of Job 22 and verse 28, we shall, I shall, I will decree or we shall decree a thing and it shall be established. I now decree and declare any murderer, anybody who has covered up and shed innocent blood will not have any position of influence and I silence their mouths from today. I bring them them down. I I remove any kind of a favor from them. Any person who is in occultism, they will not hold any position of influence in my nation. I refuse that. I stop that by authority in the name of Jesus. I stop it in the name of Jesus. I silence their mouths by authority in the name of Jesus. I stop their movements in this nation. They will not sabotage the process of God in the nation of Kenya in the name of Jesus. And the body who has revenge in their heart, my God, I decree from today by authority. They will not move around in this nation. God is silencing them by his own power. He is silencing them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because God is not a respecter of persons. Hallelujah. We shall not just keep quiet and watch. We are putting order in this nation. We are fixing order and we are declaring Kenya is a peaceful nation, is a, is a, is a nation whose uh, God is after and the mighty heart of God is already outstretched in the nation of Kenya and Kenya must get to her, to her destiny and the time is now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So we are hiding our nation and sealing it by the blood of Jesus every part of it and we are declaring it is well with our nation in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Now I want to lead to back what I have said by the word of God in the book of Isaiah 14. Isaiah 14 from verse 24 to verse 27. We can go there. Isaiah 14 verse 24 to verse 27. I want to back that with the word of God. The Lord of hosts has one saying, Surely, as I have thought, so it shall come to pass. That is it. And as I have purpose, so it shall start. That is it. And I seal that word. I seal that word. As a prophet in the land, I seal that word. That I will break the Assyrian 
in my heart and on my mountain tread and, and on my mountains tread him underfoot then his yoke shall be removed from them and his burden removed from their shoulders that is what god is doing right now this is a purpose that is purposed against the whole earth and this is the heart that is stretched out over the nations i love verse 27 listen to this for the lord of hosts has purpose and who will annul it his heart is stretched out and who will turn it back that is it that is it god is at work and i say by december this year i don't want to say so many things by december this year we are going to see very clear cuts and by the end of the month of march 2022 it is going to be very clear it is going to be very clear the direction of god in this nation i said sometimes back we are going to have three uh, political alliances we are going to to have three main political alliances in this nation and uh, they are going to be new it's not what is there god will not trust what is there right now even what is there right now no no none of the political parties that is there right now will hold the day you know uh, god is going to do his own resources and bring together and bring together some three main alliances in the nation of kenya and as i said sometimes back one of them is coming from the church it is coming from the body of jesus christ it is coming from the body of jesus christ hallelujah I'm hearing the name, but I don't want to say it now. It's going to come from the, from, from the church. Hallelujah. I'm not a politician. I'm a woman of God, set in the office by the grace of God, and I have just done my assignment. So I'm preparing the nation of Kenya. So let the, the church, the Lord, they say, let us begin well. Stop running up and down uh, with these politicians. Sit back and seek the face of God. Have the generations of your children after you. Have the generations of the people of, of our children in the nation of Kenya in your heart, because God has raised us for this moment for such a uh, for such a I mean, uh, God has raised us in such a moment as this for such kind of things. Hallelujah! So we are in charge of the nation and we are speaking by authority, and uh, we we are declaring only the purposes of God will prevail in the nation of Kenya in Jesus' name. Hallelujah! I believe you are guided. Sit back in your house. Don't support somebody because they are your tribe. It's not about your tribe. It's about the heart. It's about the condition of the heart. Hallelujah. So God bless you.